So, John, we're back to action on Friday against UCD at home. How are the lads shaping up after a Friday, Monday, back after the break? Yeah, it's obviously um, you know two games after a kind of a set number of days off, and then coming straight back into a double double game weekend is is tough on the body. So we've had to recover the last few days. Um, obviously, focused now on UCD and trying to trying to turn that uh, that game into a win. The weekend back saw a great victory against Shelburne at home, and then a draw in Dundalk on Monday. How do you reflect on? The return since the little break. Yeah, we obviously knew we were coming. We were coming back into two tough games. Uh, the shells going at home. We anticipated the the difficulty of it and the way they play and the way they sit back and they make it difficult. They don't concede many goals, so it obviously took a, a bit of magic from Jake to, to win us that. And then obviously going to Dundalk away from home. I think the fact we've come away feeling disappointed tells us where we're at just now as a group. We're obviously in a good place. Um, and we're expecting to win them types of games, especially the way the, the game kind of um, transpired throughout the course of the game. We, we felt we should have won it, and um, so yeah, disappointment of that. But I think if you'd have told me we were going to get four points from six before I came back, I probably would have took that. Um, so, so we're pleased. It's it's two more games unbeaten and um, sets us up nicely going into this home game. Yeah, that was your tenth game as manager across the interim and permanent spell. The first draw actually. So. Seven wins and, and two defeats across that period. How would you sum up the first ten and how the lads have performed for you? Because as you said, it's been a really positive run. They've been great. The, the lads have, have really bought into what we're trying to do, and um, you can see they're playing with a confidence. And I think it's it's important that we maintain that and we continue that. Um, obviously, coming up to a transfer window, so we're going to try and bring in one or two bodies to try and help the group. We're obviously short in certain areas, so. Um, it's important that we try and get one or two in to help and to try and strengthen us and, and give us a bit of strength in depth. But the, the lads that are in the building at the moment have, have been fantastic and um, can't ask any more of them. You've been asked a little bit by the, the media lads after games, you know, what's changed as such? And I know we've obviously changed training ground, but can you put your finger on the, on the main bits as, as to how the form has improved so much in, in those 10 games? Um, it is. It is tough. I think just trying to, like you know, set set different standards. Um, you know, the, as I said, the players, the players get a couple of results. They have a bit more belief in themselves, so um, that obviously helps. So yeah, there's there's been loads of little kind of subtle changes that I think have helped. Um, and then off the back of that, you get you get positive results, which then allows players to then start to believe in themselves. So, um, you know, ultimately, it's about players. It's not about me. It's not about any other staff. It's about the players and what they produce and what they do. And our job is to try and give them that belief that they can do it. And um, they are doing that at the moment. And, and long may that continue. Joe Redmond, the captain, had his boots back on for the first time, did some running at Oriel Park before the match on Monday, got a, a lovely round of applause from the supporters as he went in. He's just been down at the gym below us on a spin bike and absolutely soaking wet with sweat. He's really putting in the work, but it was great to see him uh, back on the pitch with, with his boots on. He had an Instagram post up himself just saying it, it felt lovely to, to have the boots back on. Yeah, a little ripple for myself as well when I seen him run past. No, it's great to see him. Um, you know, it's been a long road from him. He's been out for a while now. Um, He's a huge player for us. I think talking about you know adding players and, and trying to bring in players. I think when he comes back in a couple of weeks, that will be like a new signing for us, um, and it will be like signing one of the best centre backs in the league because he because he is. Um, I don't think there's many that would argue with me to say that you know he's not one of the best. So he's been he's been missing. Um, we've all, we obviously have missed him. He's a huge player. Um, so delighted for him um, that he's he's nearly back and. I think he's he's put in the graft, as you said, and the hard work that's got him to this stage, and he just now needs to continue that to get himself back out there full uh, full time, back out playing and, and back out training full time. And I know Sam Rice was mentioning the other night about it's important not to rush things, and even though he's progressed really, really well, that the plan and the rehab process needs to be followed to ensure that he comes back without any nickels or knocks or, or any reoccurrence of any injuries. A hundred percent, yeah. I think it's um, it's important that we. We manage Joe well, and, and we manage his load, and um, you know that he has to work to get himself to a level. But we also need to be mindful of the fact that he's been out for a while, so um, we need to make sure that when we we do kind of put him back into that um, full training and, and putting him back into contention for games, that it's it's managed properly. Um, as I said, the last thing we want is, is Joe breaking down, and we we want him back for the run in for the full season, and then obviously then going into next season as well. We we need him fully fit, so. Um, the rushes, the the, the pressure is obviously there with, you know, um, being so short in the def in defensive areas, 
um, that you, you do rush them back but I think it's important that we as a staff and um, as a club are mindful of that and, and we give him the best opportunity of, of giving himself uh, longevity when he comes back. Staying on the injury team, Harry Brockbag had to go off on Monday evening and Axel Stjoberg is working hard as well to come back. Are they the only two possible ones that are doubtful for a Friday apart from obviously Tom Gravosti who's again downstairs working hard on, on his rehab from his knee? Yeah, just they're, they're kind of the four that are out just now. Um, there's no real other kind of issues, maybe one or two little kind of um, ones that we're monitoring, but nothing, nothing major. Um, obviously Axel is is pushing to get himself back fit. Um, he's still a, a week or so away, I think, um, potentially longer. And then Brocky obviously came off the other day. Um, so, so yeah, he's another one that we need to manage and we need to monitor. I don't know whether that was probably just, again, he's one that's been out for a long, long time and two games in the space of three or four days, um, but hasn't obviously helped him. I think circumstances, obviously, Jay McGrath was out most of last week with severe tons tonsillitis. So, you know, I think all the defenders are, are going to mass now on the weekends of lessing themselves and, you know, making sure that they're uh, they're wrapping themselves up in cotton wool. You mentioned working hard across this month on the football matches, but also on trying to bring in some reinforcements in July and we'll have announcements in due course. But it's a busy time for the management team as well when you're trying to focus on important league matches, preparing for European match and also uh, mindful that the window opens in a couple of days as well. Yeah, hundred percent. It's um, the phone hasn't stopped. It's it's constant. Um, it's a it's a good complaint to have. You know, people pushing players to you. People wanting your own players. Um, so yeah, so it's it's a, it's a busy busy time for us. Um, we're looking at obviously the next window. We're trying to be be proactive and look towards the next window also. Um, you know, going into next year, we're not obviously taking our eye off the ball with this year, but we've got a big kind of couple of weeks coming up that we need to focus on. Um, and, and as I said, ones that come in, I don't think there'll be loads coming in, but I think the ones that do come in will be ones that we feel are um, probably you know, going to gonna enhance what's in the building already and, and really help us. Um, so it's probably looking for quality more than you know, quantity, I think, as I mes men mentioned, should I say. And you know, I can't stress enough, we are light defensively, we know that, um, but we're not going to just bring people in that we feel are just going to make up the numbers. Um, so it's important that the ones that come in um, can make an impact. And just the last two, John, briefly on UCD, the opponents for Friday did a great win against Sligo last weekend. I know we had that match watched and played them twice this season, a 3-0 at Richmond and a 3-1 victory at the Bowl just last month. What did the lads need to do to try and make it three wins in a row against UCD? They're always a difficult opponent. Um, you know, they, they have got good good energy in their team. Um, they've got some very good players and so it's again it's important that, you know, they're coming off the back of a fantastic win at home to Sligo. They'll be they'll be in good spirits, they'll be confident coming into the game. So it's important that we bring the same levels of energy that we've brought to the last number of games and, and the same energy um, and the same tempo. We can't play slow against them. I think if we play slow against them, it gives them encouragement. So we have to start fast and, and make sure again. Um, I think the last few times we've played them, we've we've got goals kind of early doors or in the first half, which have helped. So I think that's important also. And lastly, just having a look earlier on of the 11 home league games so far this season, we've won seven and, and recently been a really positive run at Richmond UCD this Friday and then Cork at home. Friday week, you'd be hopeful to try and continue the, the excellent home form in front of the fans if possible and, and hopefully with two good performances before Europe? Yeah, but we'll talk about that next week, Jay. I'm fully focused on UCD. I think um, the, the home form has been decent this year. I think we're up there with one of the top teams in the league with home form. So it's important that we maintain that. And that obviously is helped by the fans, by the atmosphere they generate. You know, I know I've spoken about it before and the players really really appreciate that and I do myself so it's um, it's important that we we give them something to to cheer about on Friday and we get that that atmosphere rocking again